Howdy, welcome back to the shop. Today I'm working on my 99 Blazer project rig. Um, and here's the gig. Now I bought this thing probably third or fourth hand. This is not a high quality, well taken care of automobile. And as so often happens, I do not have the original factory key to this. Now this key works, but this is a copy and there's a fair possibility that this is a copy of a copy. So, now you can send off, you can take your title and your driver's license and go down to check, uh, you know, the, the dealership, the mothership, and, you know, prove that you own the automobile, and they can order you the, the new tumbler or a new key and have it shipped to you and you know there is some paperwork involved and that is a viable solution uh, however just so happens I, I know a guy who knows a guy and I know a good locksmith uh, and he can rebuild this cylinder actually there's probably nothing wrong with the cylinder but he can clean it and service it and get all the little leaves inside of there fixed and cut me a good set of keys that precisely matches what the cylinder should be. That way my door key and my tumbler, I only got one key. I don't want two keys to this automobile, I just want one. Uh, so, with that being said, that can't happen, you know, that don't happen every time. They don't always, they're not always able to salvage your tumbler and stuff. But what happens is, if you don't have the key in there just right, you can't turn the tumbler. Uh, so, whoop, bump the camera. So, I have had these fail to where you could absolutely could not turn the tumbler anymore. And when that happens, you're, you're salami on lettuce. It, it becomes... At that point, it becomes a hard a hard time because now you're taking all of this stuff apart and you're drilling it out and you're doing hateful things. So I'm going to back the camera up a little bit to where I'm not bumping into it and shaking it, and uh, we'll get started. Okay, this should go without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. The battery is unhooked. So, don't try to do this with the battery hooked up. This is a 7 millimeter socket. There's only one bolt in here as far as I can remember, and this just breaks off. Maybe there's more bolts. Well, let's try a different tack. Uh, up through here, you got some more seven millimeter headed bolts. I can't remember if that has to come off first or not. Yep. Yeah, you got two one on either side of the steering column that I've forgotten about. It's been a while since I've had one of these part. The only real service item that I ever had to fool with on most of these is the headlight switch which on this model doesn't fail very often, but this uh, four-wheel drive switch, the this is similar, where these pins connect to the board that's inside of here, the solder joints break, but these four-wheel drive switches can be extracted from the front. You just reach in there with a pick and pop them out.
Okay, you should always use the proper tool to break the locking tabs off of all the connectors. So these connectors are vary from rig to rig, option to option. So there's that out of the way. Now, this one, as m very many of these, has already been cracked and busted right in here. So y'all, when you're taking these apart, you gotta be extra special careful because these things are brittle as an eggshell. Okay, we got that out of the way. Okay, you got two T25s. They come up from the bottom. If your uh, column tilt lock, whatever that thing's called, that little lever just pulls straight out. Oop, dropped it. Okay, so that does the bottom half of the clamshell. Come on, baby. There we go. And there's some little hooks on the front of this that you can't see yet, but that catches and hooks up underneath the top part of that clamshell. These are really easy to break. Now you've got, where'd it go? Boink. Oh, there he is. There's a, a Polish Torx head bolt. Right there. And I don't have no Polish Torx head sockets, so I use a field expedient. My daddy had a different word for field expedient, but I can't say it on TV. This is a four Mickey Mouse six point socket. And there's your little Polish Torx head. Come on, baby. That was easy. Now, you've got a little doohickey here. Get that boot pulled back out of my way. This just turns a quarter turn. Feels like the there's a little catch back here that holds it. And it feels like that hasn't been broken off of there yet. There we go. So you got this little catch back here. 
I hope you all can see that. My fat fingers out of the way. You got a little catch back here and you just slide your pick behind it and push it and that catch will undo. So now, in order to be able to take, okay, off, start, or off run and there's start, we ought to be able to get to the run position and find a stylus that will reach down in there. be in the start position not the run position so there we have it so I'm going to take that to my guy and that does have a code I don't know I think that maybe that 0442 is a code or maybe this is the key code but one or the other of them is the key code for those keys and I'm going to take this to my guy and he's going to rekey this cut me a key clean up the leaves he's going to do everything that needs to happen to this to make it to where it won't lock up on me. You know, this is a 20 some year old automobile. You know, crazy things happen in 20 years. It's about half wore out. Now, when you go to put this thing back in there, you gotta kinda hold your mouth right, get everything lined up right. And like so, if that little, uh, there's a tab inside of there that aligns. So if you don't have that tab lined up right, you won't get her back in there. Let's see if I can get this damn thing back out. There we go. Well, I had it out of there once. I had to stick it back in there just to be smart. So anyway, don't do that. There you go. That's how you get her apart. Putting it together just as just the same, only different. So anyway, y'all drive safe. Watch for deer.